Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Steam Link 3 Plays Hollow Knight. My name is Steam Link 3 and today we're going to be fighting the dank horse shit that is Nightmare King Grimm, who has probably the coolest fucking music in the game, like, bar none. There we go. Let's bop him on the head. Let's get into the fight here. I don't know if we actually need the Grim Child to be on in order for me to have access to this area, but I'm, like, pretty certain that we do, so... God, it's just like, a, it's a cool arena combined with, like, oh, great music. Okay. Ow. Okay. So, we changed up the build a little bit. I still have Unbreakable Strength on, because I think Unbreakable Strength might be one of, if not the best charm in the game. Because it doesn't break. We also have Quint Focus on, which does not seem to be helping very much, to be completely honest. Uh, okay. Yeah, which does not seem to be helping very much. But we also have Unbreakable unbreakable Heart on as well. Yeah, I don't think Quick Focus is actually very useful. So let's actually back it up. There's three charm slots that could be used for something else that might be more useful. Get around like get around at the speed of sound like this a little bit here. Alright. Um Quick Slash might actually be very useful. Steady body. Where's the one that gives me Putting Soul Catcher back on actually. Soul Catcher and Sprint Master. Those are the two that we'll use. Um we just need the extra soul. I can find the moment to, like, do it, to heal with. Um, it just depends on, like, he's just really fast, right? Like, he was already fast when we fought him in normal mode, but, like, now fighting him in nightmare mode is actually kind of a nightmare. I know that that's self-explanatory, but, like... Like, this might be the hardest boss we fight in the game. Nightmare King Grim. Okay, ow. Okay, well, we got a couple good licks in there. Which is always good. Ow. Okay, wow. It's just, like, I can't get a break to, like, heal or anything. So I think our only option is to just not get hit. Like, we just need to straight up not get hit. Um, I think you, with that uh, with that idea, it actually might be worth it to throw on Joni's Blessing instead of Unbreakable Heart. Because, like, I just, you can't, I can't heal. He's too fast. Nightmare King Grip. The nice part is that we have a good turnaround. Like, it doesn't take very long for me to, like, get back into the fight, which is nice. Ow. I think this is already fucked, by the way. Yeah, I think we might already be boned. Ugh. Everything doing two damage fucking blows! Holy crap. Yeah, I think because, like, we can't... We straight up can't heal. Like, I, I I, tried to do it there, but, like, there's no... There's no time. Like... There's no time to smoke a bowl. Like, it's really cool, and I like this opening. That's... A godsend in boss fights is when the opening's at least cool. But, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I actually managed to get a heal off there. Yeah, there's just no way. I... Mmm. We have to just not get hit. We need to focus on memorizing his patterns and being good at not getting hit. Which is easier said than done. Because he is, uh... 
is a spicy meatball. I'll tell you that. Yeah, and at least the turnaround's not that bad. It's not like with like other bosses where we have to like go through a whole area. I literally crystal dash down a fucking hallway. Ah, uh, I missed him. Okay, just get your licks in when you can, ow, but try not to get him when he's coming at you like that. That's a little too much. That attack is our best opportunity to hit him, but we have to be very careful because it's a little, a little fast. We can do this. I, I believe, I believe in my ability to make this happen. This is rough. I'm going to be completely honest. This is rough. Um, we might go and like, I'm wondering if we beat them, like, do I, can I still banish them to get the other charm? I wonder. Yeah. Okay, we got a couple, oh, a couple good hits in there. Oh, come on, game. I definitely 100% hit him. I'm calling bullshit. I hit him during that last attack. The fact it's the fact that he does two damage is actually what's fucking me up. Like it has nothing to do with like the speed is one thing, but like the second I get my feet underneath me, I've like already lost like most of my life bar. Cause he's doing like he's just doing so much damage. Nightmare King Grim. I just like it's like kind of funny. They gave him his like own title card and everything. Right, so I'm gonna just get a hit in there. I'm gonna just get a couple hits in there. All right, good. So far, so good. Ow. Cool. Two hits. Ow, I missed him. I'm bad at this video game apparently. Real lucky one. Okay, there we go. Gotcha! Yeah, I was like, we're gonna take a second to heal, not hit him, because that's the kind of fight we're having right now. Oh, we were doing really well, now I'm like hemorrhaging HP again. Okay, oh, nope. Okay, I can officially survive one hit from him, which is great. Ow. Oh, there we go. There that is. All right, so we can heal the same t way we could heal before. We can heal here, which is during the spike attack. The spike attack takes a little longer for him to recover than normal. Um, it really depends on what his follow-up is, but, um, if we're positioned well at the start of the spike attack, we can heal. It might actually help to put on slug mode for this. Alright, we got a bit, we actually get a lick in there, which is fine. See, like, it kind of depends on what he follows up with, but we can make it happen. Because if he follows up with bat attack, like that bat attack right there, um, oh my god, get it together, Andre. Right? Get him into a break phase. Ah. 
Maybe deep focus would be useful. Maybe. I don't know. That didn't seem useful. We just gotta focus on dodging. We just can't get hit. Like, you know, the less we get hit, the better. We were doing really well that, like, two rounds ago we did really well. We just gotta focus on getting back to that level of aptitude here. Which I 100% feel like we're capable of doing here. Oh, the fucking fire. I need to remember that that attack now has fire attached to it. Managed to get three in there, which is awesome. Gotcha. Okay. Ugh. We need to get into him to get into a broken phase. Alright, kiss my ass goodbye here. Not what I had in mind, game. Couldn't just give me him in a broken state. Make my life easier. Nope. Maybe quick charge is useful. I don't know. It's tough. Like, I, I think the idea is I just need to not get hit so much. Like, we need to pay better attention. Like, when he's on the ground, dashing through him is the move, right? Like, we have to go through him with the shadow dash. Maybe throwing a sharp shadow might be useful then. Because if, like, we have to dash through him a couple times, we could at least get it, let us get a lick in. Not that sharp shadow does, like, a terrible amount of damage, but, you know. can't charge because I can't do the level of platforming that they're asking me to do and charge at the same time. Maybe I need a higher iframes. Maybe. What do we have on right now? trying to think. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep going. Let's just keep going. I don't see any reason to... Well, because, like, I'm trying to think about what would help, what would benefit us the most here. Um, Balder Shell might actually be pretty useful. Um, that way if I, like, make a mistake on my timing with the charge, at least I won't take damage. But then if it, like, it's gonna fucking break, like, that's gonna happen. So far, so good, actually. I think we actually did manage to get that heal off. Alright, easy, easy does it. Focus up. Focus up! doing really well right now. I had to, like, be aware of the fact that it's gonna go into a spike move in order for me to heal off of it now. It's a little bit too fast. That's the first time I've been hit by that attack. Like, I have to, like, when it makes the, like, the sucking noise, I have to, like, be aware of the fact that it's gonna do that attack and then, like, get ready for it. Ow, because if I do it too late, then I get hit by whatever he does as a follow-up.
managed to get three heals off there, which is great. If we just stay focused, I think we can make this happen. He backed up. He backed the fuck up. Did you see that? Did you see that shit? Are you sure about that? God damn, man. Yeah, I can't charge. If you're yelling at me to, like, do charge attacks, I can't charge and platform the way the game wants me to at the same time. Um, I, my, my thumb can't do it. It's too difficult to hold the button down and, like, slap the A button with my, like, the middle of my thumb, basically. Ow. Double fireball. That fireball attack sucks. I'm gonna be completely honest. Out of all the attacks he does, that one's my least favorite. A, it's difficult to fucking see where the fireballs are gonna go. And B, like, if you get hit by the first half, the iframes don't last long enough to protect you from the second half. That's where I take the majority of my damage from this boss, I think. I just need to be more aware. If he's on the ground, if he pops up on the ground, I have to dash through him. That's just that's the way it works. I have to dash through him. That's the only way to dodge that fucking attack. Because we can hit him on other attacks. We just need to be aware of him. Ow. Even that kick attack, like that one's not that bad. Get the hits in here and like during the exploding fire beam attack like that one's those two attacks are fine we can get him ow keep missing him Okay, it's because he always does the, the fucking drill, spike, death from below attack, followed by the stupid Hannibal Lecter slash into fireball death move. <laughs> I'm just giving these things names. <laughs> uh, this is a really cool boss fight, and it's like the design isn't bad. I'm just bad. Like, I'm just not playing well. I feel like I can take him, though. In before somebody in the comments tells me that he always follows like a set pattern and I just need to like memorize it or some shit like Ow. Ow. I gotta go. I get flustered after I get hit a couple times, and I need to like knock it the fuck off. If I didn't need to have the fucking Grim Child on, like the Grim Child's not helping me here, but I'm like pretty certain I need to have it on in order to access this area, which kind of sucks because like it takes up two charm slots. Like it's not like a cheap thing. It's definitely neutering me a little bit. Cause like I could throw on like steady body or extra iframes or something. Actually, with the beam attack, after the last beam launches, there's actually a huge window there for me to, like, heal, I think. There we go. All right. And if, like, I go right after the last beam fires, uh, there's actually a huge window there for me to heal, which is nice. 
Maybe deep focus would actually be really good here. Yeah, alright. Let's go swap some things around and see if maybe we can get something better to go with. I think Grub Fly Song is actually... Like, Grub Song's actually bad here because it's not... I'm taking too much damage for the damage. Like, it's not giving me enough soul per damage, if that makes sense. Um, so I think Grub Song's out and I think Unbreakable Heart's out. No, I think Unbreakable Heart's still in. I think Dash Master's out. Sprint Master is not super useful. That gives us two. Um, where's Deep Focus? Do we have Deep Focus? I thought we had Deep Focus. We have Quick Focus. All right, well, Sharp Shadow is probably pretty good. Take Soul Catcher off and put on. Like, Lifeblood Heart sounds pretty good. Heavy Blow. Uh, uh, bigger iframes, I think, is going to be useful. Because the problem we're having has nothing to do with. Um, it has nothing to do with my foot movement speed, right? Like, it's not me running that's helping out. It's the fact that, like, I need to remember to dash through him. When I dash through him, I need to remember that that's gonna... I need it to hurt him. And then we need bigger iframes, so that way I have, like, elbow room to recover. I think these things are important. We'll see if they work. I thought we had deep focus, but I guess I haven't picked that one up yet. I don't quite need to heal yet, so I think we're okay for right now. I'm dashing a little bit too early. Ow. Right, I'm really feeling having no Shaman Stone right now. Yeah, okay. We need to have Soul Catcher on. I, I don't think I can actually beat this boss without it. So, never mind. Back to the drawing board. Because, like, I, I just, like, I realized that we didn't get any, like, soul juice to heal with that whole time. Yeah, which means that I think Stalwart Shell... Let's see if we can get in there without having the Grim Child Charm on. Let's see if maybe that'll work. And then I think definitely having Soul Catcher on is important. I think... Fury of the Fallen is like sounds good on paper, but I don't know if it's good in practice. Stalwart Shell, I think it's good. I think we want that. And then I think for our last ones, I think we'll put on Sharp Shadow. We'll see if maybe we can, if we can access that boss fight without needing to have the Grim Child on. Like we just needed to collect the soul. We don't need to have the actual charm on. Oh, perfect. Okay. Oh, okay. No, so got it. We need the fucking Grim Child with us. God damn it. All right. Well, then that means we need to make a decision between Sharp Shadow and Stalwart Shell. I think we'll take Sharp Shadow off. Um, as much as I actually think Sharp Shadow is like super useful, I also think it's probably less useful than extra iframes and more health. So tough choices. I just I'm mad because I have this I have a dead charm on right like the Grim Child doesn't help me at all during this boss fight but I need it to access the fight so it's just a dead charm it's like having a key in like your fucking trinket slot or some shit you know sit right no oh, no. We're doing well so far. Our goal during the laser attack, if we're going to do it offensively rather than heal, is to um, have the last beam not be directly underneath the boss, so that way we can get hits in. There 
we go. Feeling a the rhythm. There we go. Ugh. Because we can get two hits in there if we're real clever about it. If we're one of the seven clever boys, we can make it happen. There we go. Oh no, thought we got hit. It's just, it's because we got hit with like a heavy attack that the whole audio got fucked. I'm not doing so hot anymore. Three, four, heal. Heal. Oh, dodge. That was gonna be my word of the day here. Opportunities when I can. We're gonna play defensively for a minute here. Oh, damn it. One, two, three, four, heal. Batwing strike. Get a lick in there. I land at a soul. Because I was using too many of my hitting opportunities as healing opportunities. One, two, three, four, heal. Ow. We're actually doing really well. We've managed to get him through a second stun phase. Ow. Keep accidentally double jumping. Two, three, four. I turned around and walked back into him. Remember, we need to heal twice for every hit that we take. Like, we're still in danger right now. Ugh. Damn. Alright. We're actually doing really well. If I could get more soul charge, that would be great. But to do that, we'd have to take off extra iframes, which I do think are helping. And we'd have to take off, um... They'd take off extra iframes, I think. Because then we'd, we'd swap out Soul Catcher for the, like, four charm one. Might be worth it, to be honest. Um, I think the, uh, I think remembering my healing moments is, is a big benefit here. Um, and not getting too greedy with my damage. We're gonna already need to take like a severe healing break. Oh, damn it. I thought we made it. Ow. We're probably gonna die. I'm gonna be completely honest here. I just blew, like, a bunch of soul charge. I'm not healing myself. Which is ideal, obviously. Clearly, that's peak performance right there. God damn it. Alright, we're gonna give it one more go, and then... 
No, I mean, look, look, we're gonna keep going. That's that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna keep going. And the video's long, but so was the White Palace one. <laughs> I feel like we can beat this guy. Like, it's not impossible. We can do it. We just need to focus. Also, how can I be mad? It's got, like, fucking rad as hell music. Dashed a little too early there. Ow. I got hit by probably the easiest attack of his to dodge. Like, ever. Like, at least, like, like it's like this attack and that fucking, uh, the, like, ribbon attack where, like, they come out of the ground. Are, like, the two easiest attacks to dodge out of all of the attacks. So it was a net, net neutral, I guess. Yeah, but like, I also fuck the designers for making this boss fight deal two damage to you. Like, I actually think that that's like grotesquely unfair. hit at a time like next time he goes into a beam phase we need to heal I think that the, the beam attack might be the only, like, actually clean opportunity to heal. One, two, three, four. Because if I start charging after he, um, like, once the last beam hits the, like, starts to be produced, if I start charging, I can get the full heal off without having an issue, like, before the next attack even starts to come out. One, two, three, four. The trick is I, I have to do it, like, the second it appears, I have to, like, be charging. Which really isn't that hard to do, by the way. Um, one, two, three, four, like that, right? And then charge, boom. Fully, like, we got the full heal off without having to really worry too much. dodging instead of trying to hit him as well like I feel like a couple of those attacks are actually like really easy to dodge like the kicking attack is super easy to dodge if you don't focus if you're trying to just not get hit one two three four Ugh. damn it damn it we were doing really well too all right let's go again Come! Come, Dark Child, in your worthless ass. Let's go. A consummately worthless character that we have following us around now. 
like actually annoying. But that's okay. Like I said, we can figure this out. The problem with this fight is it both punishes and rewards you for being close to him when he does attacks, right? Well, we managed to get a heal off. Which means they're now at an odd number of health, which is good because it means we'll survive an extra hit now. about where I position myself. But we're doing really well right now, so I'm not complaining about my performance. Heal, heal, heal like the best opportunity to do it. I know we can get extra hits in on him, but A, I can't fucking hit the stupid Grim Child when it comes out of him like that. It's just, it's too fucking fast. Ow. We're actually doing it, which is great. Taking that opportunity to heal, but you know what? I think it's fine. Alright, cool. I don't know if I need to hit that in order for us to, like, win. Like, I need to hit it, like, three times or some shit to, like, win this, but... That it better not be the case, game, because I'll be very upset. Because we're doing really well. There we go! There we go! Let's go! Let's go! Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Get fucking wrecked, nerd! Your fucking heart of darkness bullshit. Get out of here! This is my town, scrub! You are very large. Oh, and you didn't disappear? Sweet. So what, he's like fully ascended or some shit? Ah, a good riddance. That creepy carnival has vanished and the town's returned to its former self. Nice and quiet as I like it. It's quite enough to deal with the occasional traveler. Whole structures appearing out of nowhere. Dreadful music, horrific masks. All oh, far more than one old bug should have to face. Faring well in your adventure below? Well, I had an adventure of my own while you were gone. Don't usually visit the town's graveyard, but I thought I'd go and visit the grave of an old friend. So walking through the tombstones, I noticed a strange kind of chanting coming from somewhere nearby. Extremely sinister chanting. I looked around to find the source and found two bright, horrible, huge eyes staring at me from the door of a dark cave. I pretended I hadn't heard the voice and seen the eyes and scurried back to town. My friend will have to wait a little longer for her visit. Well, that was exciting. Um... I mean, so, like, we've we've captured all... We, we did the Grim Troop now, right? So that's, like, that's all of it. We can go and do, like, the banishment ritual to, like, get rid of all of it. But I don't know if that even works now. 
but that's okay. For now, though, that's going to do it for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. If you guys like what you saw, let me know. If you guys want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date on when I post more videos. And if you really like what you saw, leave a like. It helps the channel grow. helps me out a great deal. But of course, with that, thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!